So, you want to make an in card? Well, go to the store and buy a pack of Uno, and then grab the last card. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to make an animated in card here in Blender. We are going to be doing this because a friend of mine's been having some problems with her in card, and I thought of it, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and delete default cube today by hitting delete on our keyboard, and also deleting the lamp as well, because we don't need either one of those. I'm going to select our camera, and hit Alt-G and alt r to clear the ro the location and rotation of the camera then we're going to hit rx on our keyboard and then 990 on our numpad and hit enter to confirm that i'm going to hit g and y to move the camera backwards now that we're done with that stuff i do in every video we're going to hit zero to go into the camera's view and hit shift a and we're going to add in a plane right now this plane is going to uh, help us out a little bit i'm going to hit rx 90 to rotate that and hit enter um, which is this looks good, but it's obviously not a rectangle So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and take the size of a rectangle and use this as the uh, As well like where you put the the video on the end of the card um, So we're gonna use the camera as a foundation for this because obviously this is the correct re resolution because this is 1920 by 1080 camera resolution if I go over here you can see 1920 1080 so that's gonna be the size of any video even if your video is 1280 720 it's still the same ratio it's still 16 9 so that's what we're gonna use we're gonna hit s x to scale the uh, rectangle to the size of the camera I'm gonna zoom in literally as far as I can go and do it again so s x and then just scale it until it rests nicely on the edge of that and then we're gonna do the same thing with the up and down I'm gonna scroll in literally as far as I can until blender does not let me scroll in anymore hit s Z to scale it up on the Z axis and just kind of move your mouse up. Uh, it's, it's getting up here. It's getting up. There he is. All right, so we're just gonna put it right about there as well. So now that is pretty much literally perfect because like it it it, it, it was we were so zoomed in that it's it's perfectly fine. Sweet. So now we have a 1920 uh 1920 a 169 resolution box here now. Keep in mind that on YouTube, there is a uh, limit as to how far down and up you can go. Now, my recommendation is going to the actual end screen and take end screen on YouTube and full screening the end screen editor and hitting a screenshot of that and opening it up, which is what I'm about to do right now. And I'll be right back. All right. So I have now done that it is completely done. And what I want to do is I want to take, go ahead and hit shift a, and we're going to add in a, um, all right, so I have done that. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift A, and we're going to go down to Image, and then Images as Planes. But this might not be here if you don't have this enabled. So to make sure this is, is enabled, go up to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons, Add-ons, and then type up here Image, Image or Images, and make sure this is checked, and we are all set to go. Now, Shift A. And then we're going to go to image, images of planes, and then you're going to open up that screenshot you just took. I've opened up my image and you can't see it because it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, material mode right here, viewport, material viewport shading rather. And now you can see this is the image I just uh, took right here. So that's a full screen of the uh, end screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit S to scale this up now. As you can see, this is off center and I did that on purpose and I'll show you why. So if I drag a line all the way across here, oh, no, wait. If I put this all the way up at the top, you can see this box does not line up with the blue box, which is fine. And this is also not in center right here, which I'll show you uh, why in a second. So let's go ahead and hit S to scale that up to uh, literally the size of the camera as close as we can get it, which that looks pretty freaking close if you ask me. There we go. Um, looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and move this backwards by uh, putting our camera into... Into the camera tab, I'm going to select our camera, then go to the camera tab down here and change this from perspective to orthographic. Now you can see if I grab our, actually, actually move, let's scale this up again, because I forgot I was going to do that. Uh, there we go, that seems good to me. I'm going to hit uh, GY to move this backwards so that we can see our uh, rectangle here, which is nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scale this to the approximate size. I'm going to use the size of the actual um uh in card element here so i'm just going to move that to uh, about the size that it is which that looks pretty good to me uh, i do want this to be center so i'm not going to move it up because those are not in the center because i didn't have my grid on exactly all the way um so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and hit shift d on this uh, uh rectangle right click to cancel that movement and then open up this tab on the right hand side and then change the x location to get rid of the negative sign 
and then hit enter now you can see that's exactly on the other side exactly where it's supposed to be now with our circle we're gonna do the same exact thing I'm gonna hit shift a and we're gonna add in a mesh and this is gonna be a circle I'm gonna go down here to add circle and change this from nothing to in gone and then we're gonna hit rx 90 to rotate that and move it on up now um, you can add some more vertices but I'm just gonna go ahead and just put on a subsurf modifier real quick so a little wrench add modifier subsurf and then maybe bump the viewport up to two as well then hit s to scale this down until it's approximately the size of these the circle which is about right there all right so now you can see we have this all set up so we can actually go ahead and get rid of our image hit delete we don't need that anymore uh, that was just so we could get the sizes proper all right now this is a boring end card it's not doing anything so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna open up our timeline change my start frame to zero go to the render tab here uh, actually, this this bad boy here, this bad boy, right, the output, the output tab. Sorry, change the frame rate to 60 and maybe bump the in frame to 500. Now you don't want an end card to be too long because people usually click off. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to leave it on. You know, we'll leave it on. We'll leave it on. We'll leave it on two. We'll do 260. 260 is fine. 250 is probably fine. We might as well just leave it on 250. We'll leave it on 250. <laughs> um, now I'm going to go ahead and, and grab one of our uh, rectangles here. Hit Shift D to duplicate that. Right click to get to cancel that movement, and then hit G Y until it's uh, in front of the uh, rectangle. About right there. Doesn't matter where because we're in orthographic mode. I'm going to S to scale it down so it's uh, not exactly as big, and I'm going to go ahead and hit S X to make sure that it's like even, so we have that same amount of thickness instead of it being like that. Uh, same amount of thickness approximately on both sides, and that's too small, so I'm going to hit S to scale it down, and then do like that again. Uh, I think it looks good. All right, cool. So now I just want to have like a little rim. So it's like like this. But what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put uh, this color to I want the background to be solid white. So the background's going to be white. And what I'm going to do is actually no, I want the background to be black. I'm going to make the background black. So my color in the world tab black. I'm going to go to render viewport shading here and select I'm going to actually not do that. I'm going to select all of the back ones. I don't want this front one. I want all the back ones, the main elements we just created. I'm going to all create the same material. So on the material tab, I'm going to drop this down, select material, and then hit control L and make links to materials. Now, I'm going to change this from the principal BSDF shader to the emission shader and then change the color to like a purplish pinky, like something like that, right? Um, and maybe bump, bump this up to five, maybe. We got a lot of stuff to do, so we got to kind of put a little bit of speed on this bad boy but uh but yeah so uh, in the render viewport you can now see we have something like that that is an ugly pink we're gonna fix that real quick uh there we go maybe something like that all right great cool this uh might be a little bit big now i think i want to go ahead and just scale that up a little bit maybe on the z as well like that looks good to me all right cool now i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this black so i'm gonna hit uh, shift d right click to cancel the movement and then do the same with the same thing we did earlier open that up change the x value and put a negative in front in front of it so now it's over there as well same thing with the circle we're going to go ahead and do this bad boy right here we're going to hit uh control uh, sorry shift d duplicate that hit s to scale it down approximately the same width as the boxes then hit g y to move it forward and then change the material to the uh, black material. Where's the black? Okay, the, the, the black material. We're going to make a black material instead of just having it as nothing. So with the black square selected, I'm going to ch change the base color to solid black. Then I'm just going to put that same material on this one. Nope, on this, on this one. And then grab that same material. All right, cool. So now we have that. These are all approximately the same width. This looks great. I like it so far. Uh, but I want to do some more stuff. So I'm going to hit Shift D. And we're going to create another plane. Hit G, Y to move it forward, and R, X, 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Tab to go into edit mode. And I'm going to grab this bottom right hand vertice and hit G, Z to move it upwards like that. Then I'm going to hit Tab to go back out of edit mode and hit S, X to scale this on the X axis. Left click to confirm that movement. I'm going to hit uh, G, X to move this over and maybe scale that in a little bit more. It's too big. Um, something like that now i'm going to go ahead and place that about right there so it's covering the entire um it's covering the entire rectangle and then i'm going to on the first on zero frame sorry hit I.